Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Mars December Product of the Month webinar. This month, we're focusing on the Marcator 1075R digital indicator. I'm your presenter, George Schutz, Director of Precision Gauges out of Providence, Rhode Island. And you can contact me via email or via phone anytime you like. But if you have any questions during the presentation, use the chat feature and I will respond to your question after the webinar by email. So today's agenda, we're going to learn about the Marcator 1075R digital indicator, a little bit about what it is, some of its important features, why you might need it. We'll go over some of the technical data, speak a little bit about data collection, look at some applications, and then look at it, why it's a great value being our product of the month. Now, as you know, MAR offers a wide suite of hand tools. And over the past few years, these have grown dramatically, having a full line of digital calipers and depth gauges, digital indicators, and digital micrometers. And as you know, MAR was the first one to build in integrated wireless data transmission into many of these products. So all these are all these products are, are modern looking and feature packed. They're high quality and meant to be used on the shop floor at the point of manufacturer. And with our promotions and our value pricing, our prices are, are at or often lower than some of the major competitors. So I think we're the leader in low cost and transparent wireless data transfer. And because with many of our products, the, the, the wireless is integrated, we offer along with that the lowest cost receiver and free Marcom wireless integrated software to, to, to wrap up our Marcom program. Now just summarizing again, our full line of hand tools, we have uh, oh, no, uh, 40 standard uh, calipers, we have 28 specialty calipers, many of them with integrated wireless. <clears throat> we have a full line of digital depth gauges with and without integrated wireless. A number of digital indicators, a full range of uh, products in that area. And our latest addition, of course, with our digital micrometers, with now we have 28 standard mics, we have specialty mics, we have speed drive mics, all at very competitive pricing. Today, we're gonna to focus on the digital indicators and specifically the 1075R version, our entry level digital indicator. Now we do have a full product line of digital indicators with the 1075 being the, the entry level. We have the 1086R and RI with the integrated wireless, which has a number of different ranges and resolutions where you can get a fixed resolution or adjustable resolution. We have the 1087 and 1087RI, which is our digital indicator with a, a simulated analog dial on it and the ability to do dynamic measurements, both uh, all with a selectable ranges. And we have the new high resolution 1086 that uh, offers, and 1087R that offers uh, resolutions down to 10 micro inches. So you can see there's a full, full range of digital indicators they all have their reference uh, capabilities. Some have tolerances, some have locking capabilities, and they all have different IP ratings. But today we're gonna focus on the 1075R, which is our entry level digital indicator. And you can see that this, this is a nice features to price type of graph where the 1075 is our low end indicator it has many important features common to the uh, other products we have, the 1086 and 1087, 
But for many applications, the 1075 is the right indicator to give you the best value, plus giving you the information that you need to uh, complete your measuring process. So there are three 1075 uh, indicators available. They all look the same. They all have our Mark Connect wired data output. They all have reference capability. Um, shows tolerances here. Tolerances aren't part of this. Locking capabilities, absolute value, and their IPS52 uh, capable. Now the difference between these indicators is that the resolution is selectable by model number. So with the uh, the first version here, the 4336010, we have a five tenths inch resolution or a 10 micron metric resolution. And you go change the model numbers, you go to higher resolutions all the way to 50 millionths or one micron resolutions. They all have half inch or 12 millimeters of, of a measuring range. And since you know, most indicators are fixed to an application, they uh, are really meant to be used in that application. So what you can do here is just dedicate that indicator to the application. Say if it's a 10, uh, a tenth indicator resolution is the one that you need. It can stay with that application. It doesn't confuse the operator. It's always going to be uh, fixed to that resolution, ready to go, ready to make the measurements. Now let's take a look at some of the key features with the Mar Cater 1075R. The first is the built-in reference scale. And this is common to all our uh, our products, the calipers, depth gauges, uh, digital indicators, and micrometers. So this reference feature allows for a number of different things. Whenever the 1075 is turned off, it remembers the last zero setting that you have. So whenever it comes back on again, it doesn't have to be zeroed again. Or ref it remembers the last reference point. So this this uh, saves a step when the gauge is being used. If it goes to sleep, it comes back on and it's ready to be used. You don't have to place the master back in there to re-zero. To re also, because it's really always on, but in a sleep mode, the 1075R will automatically turn on with spindle movement. And again, it remembers that last zero setting. You can also have because the reference scale is there and it does go to sleep and remembers its value can uh, adjust the sleep time off so you can have it turn off after eight minutes of non-use after two hours of, of non-use or you can deactivate that mode so it's always on but the nice thing about this even though it has the reference even though it's really on but in the sleep mode we still have an extraordinarily long battery life with up to three years. And all these, these um, uh, functions are easily accessible during uh, using the front keys on the keypad so that you can change the auto off mode by pressing the PR, the preset and the inch metric mode for more than three seconds. It goes into that setting and now you can adjust the auto off mode. The 1075 has a large, easy to use display. It's an LCD display with 12 millimeters digits. And it's very simple to use with only three dedicated buttons that allow for easy access to all its special functions. Uh, it's switchable inch metric from the, from the center button there. So it's one button operation for that. And it has on off from the, from the front button and you can set the preset using the front button. Also, you can use the, uh, the preset or the reset for zeroing. You can change polarity by using a function of keys, or you can put the unit into a lock mode, which prevents the operator from 
uh, changing inch to metric, uh, et cetera. The lock function prevents operators from accidentally pressing keys that may change the measuring results. So you can't accidentally re-zero on the part or the master, for example. So the lock function is, is there to uh, dedicate that indicator to the gauge. You know, the, uh, a user or a setup person can set the gauge up, zero it out on the master, put it into the lock mode, and then turn the gauge over to the user, and all they're gonna be able to do is measure and uh, qualify their parts. No chances of re-zeroing or uh, setting the, the zero position accidentally. So lock function is a function that's available on many of our uh, newer digital products, including the micrometers, the calipers, and the digital indicators. The 1075 uses our MAR Connect, our wired data output. And with MAR Connect, the output configuration is determined by the cable selected. So one connector is on the top of the uh, digital indicator. And by choosing the right cable, you can get an, a USB type of output uh, where no interface boxes are necessary. It simply uses the USB hub uh, to collect data. We provide um, drivers and so forth, which you can download to use that USB interface. You can plug the 1075 into products using the Digimatic output. So it connects to all mu multipl multiplex boxes and so forth that use a Digimatic format. Or we can provide the MAR Opto RS-232 cable, so that you connect, connect it through the older style uh, RS-232 ports on computers, or you can you can get a an RS-232 to USB converter and use the drivers for that if you want to get uh, into a newer computer that may be using a little older software. So we provide a number of different abilities to get uh, data from the 1075. The 1075 is also IP52 classified for protection, which means it's dust protected and it can uh, take falling water drops when it's tilted less than 15 degrees. So it's, it's not meant to be used in a totally wet environment, but in your typical shop type environments on a bench gauge or a portable hand gauge, uh, the 1075 is ideal for those types of applications. The 1075 also inc includes a preset value so that you know you can use the 1075 in one of two modes. You can have it as a direct comparative type gauge where you set it to zero on the master and the user looks at the deviation from zero to classify as parts or you can set the gauge to an actual preset value, say for example, a half inch, and now the, the 1075 will read that size directly as a half inch plus or minus whatever the deviation to the master is. And this is easy to set up. I mean, all the functions again are from the front three keys where you can set the preset value and use that as you need it. Because the 1075 is an entry-level digital indicator, the, the, the um, bezel is non-rotating, so it's always 90 degrees uh, to the spindle, so it's great for um, fixed bench gauge applications like shown here, uh, whether it's being used in a, um, a, a plug gauge or another portable gauge, a snap gauge, for example. Typically, a snap gauge is always used in a vertical position. So it's a great application for, for many bench or handheld uh, portable gauges. Now, again, with Mark, with Mark Connect, uh, 
We use that with our Marcom for professional software interface. So this allows for taking data from a number of different devices, whether it be a wireless, uh, wireless caliper, micrometer, digital indicator. We have our add-on modules, but in this case, we're using cable technology where we're wired directly into the 1075 to the PC. And with Marcom, that allows us to take the data and send that to a number of different, uh, different places, uh, whether it be a Microsoft Windows a file, like a text file or a uh, Excel file. We can use third-party software with our MUX interface, or you might be able to go directly into a third-party software uh, via the USB port and use your existing SPC programs. And even with, with Marcom 3, you can still identify the digital indicator as a uh, unique device, assign it a serial number, and you can take data either via the send data switch on the uh, cable. You can use Marcom in a foot switch. You can use the keyboard on the computer, or it can be an automated process where the, the uh, digital indicator is pulled with a timer and you can take measurements continuously based on the timing requirements. So a lot of flexibility with Marcom and the 1075 indicator. Like I mentioned, we can assign a part number or a serial number uh, with, with Marcom to that digital indicator and have that become part of the data that's collected from the indicator. So now we know what indicator was used, what the data was, the time and date that that measurement was made. And now we have a complete uh, a wrap up and documentation of that data. And all this is done on an easy to use uh, tab based uh, setup with Marcom. And here's that additional data that we have where we can select the description, the serial number, the part number, and the date, all to be collected uh, and sent to your Excel file when making measurements. Markham also incorporates a erase data now or reset the last value. So just in case the operator does collect a piece of data that is a known flyer or accidentally collects data, that last data value can be uh, taken away and erased from the collection. So I think with all these features, you've seen that uh, the, the 1075R is a very valuable part of the whole line of digital products from R. We looked at the complete line of Marcator indicators with the 1075, the 1086, and the 1087. We've seen how the 1075 fits into this line with the value it presents. We've talked about the numerous features of the 1075, including the preset, inch metric, large display, half inch measuring range, uh, dedicated uh, resolutions per application, preset, auto zeroing, et cetera. We looked at some applications where it can be used with bench gauging or handheld tooling. We've talked about Mark Connect data collection and how with its wired connection, the 1075 is an ideal low cost way to start the data collection process. And I think it's the right choice for easy to use and basic inspection at the point of manufacturer. And especially now being a part of Mars product of the month, that's even more of a value. I think you've, you've seen the, uh, the 1075 in the MAR lights. You've seen our special product of the month promotion where you, you, if you purchase a 1075 in any one of the three models, you'll get the special pricing, plus you'll get a MAR mug to enjoy your coffee with. It's also part of the Marlite's promotional flyer where it's featured uh, with our other indicators at the promotional pricing for all three versions. So again, this is a great time to, to introduce yourself to the 10 
1075 and all its values. So why MAR? Well, I think MAR has a broad product range for industrial metrology and the 1075 and our hand tools are a great part of that. Here in Providence, we have great application competence to support you along with our dedicated sales team and distribution partners. Our wireless hand tool portfolio will help you reach an industry 4.0 in terms of collecting data, uh, documenting the process and documenting the instrumentation. Our promotional prices and high quality achieve, I think the best value uh, in the business for our hand tools. And after this uh, webinar, we're going to email you a link to the recording in case you want to share this with anybody. And also we'll refresh you with the product of the month data sheet in a PDF format. So thank you for your attention uh, today on the 1075. Hopefully you learned what a great value the product is. And again, if you had any questions and you type them in, I will respond to them after the webinar. Thank you again for attending.